Hello and welcome to Retro Roulette, cock doodle don't I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forgione. Sure. And Jason Amherst. What up? And Billy Carter. Anime tits. Yeah, I know. That's all you've been posting in the Discord. Thank you. Uh, so, one thing before we get into spinning of the wheel uh, is that there is an additional space now on the wheel. Uh, we have two vetoes to start, but there is an extra veto space. If we land on it, you get an extra veto. To be added awesome. To your, to your vetoes. You're coming handy. It is a one time. Th- obviously, it is it. obviously is a one time a session thing. So if we land on it, it goes away. Um, with that being said, I think it's time to get started. Let's spin this bad boy. See what land on Let's first. Get this party started. Let's get this started. Well, parted. Let's. Get party if on we can actually charity. land on a player's choice space. A what? A player's Ocean choice. Ocean software. Oh. Maybe. Oh, no. I don't Ocean know. We'll software. see, I guess. Oh, no. Ocean oh. software. Stick it in my off where? Yeah. Oh, you know, lethal like, weapon. Yeah. For as much as AVGN dumped on LJN, I think Ocean was responsible for more stinkers. I I've heard very bad things about this particular game. Oh, gee, I mean, is it, in that it's a is it weapon. Is it as hard? I don't know. It is. Is it as hard as Die Bad? Great movie. Lethal. Terrible lethal game. Lethal weapon. Lethal weapon. TM. <laughs> <laughs> lethal weapon. Tim Meadows. What? Hi, I'm Tim Meadows. <laughs> I was on SNL for 167 years. Choose your mission. Uh, I hey, choose it's, it's, Joe Pesci. I told I, I was gonna say I choose Joe Pesci. <laughs> you know, was he even in the first one? <laughs> Joe oh, Pesci was blonde guy. hair is extreme. Joe Pesci with blonde hair is extremely unsettling. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 They fuck you. They fuck you. They fuck you. Wow! Oh, yeah. Look at this. This is totally not an Amiga game, right? Mission three, oh, wow. mission four, access denied. So I guess I should probably. Oh, start this is like the hub world. I see. Mission one, huh? This, this oh wait, let's go to the lockers stupid. real quick. <laughs> I'm too old for this shit. You can't say hey, shit. You can't say that. Oh, oh, it's me picking. Murta, uh, Riggs and Murtaugh. <laughs> hey, hey, Mo. Hey, Mo. Oh, oh, God. In a couple oh of, in a, on a decade or so, I'm going to say a lot of racist shit. Reports received a, uh, of a group of international smugglers uh, guarding an illegal consignment of goods infiltrate the dock and seize the consignment. Okay. Say boat. Maybe we should we should take the co-signed boat. No. Me, me, no. me. Okay, good. <laughs> I do have a gun. God, this looks just like the Blues Brothers game, and every other Ooh. piece of crap Ocean Software put out on uh, friggin' uh, SNES. Can you imagine what a uh, lethal weapon game would look like now? It would probably be a lot better. Probably. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, didn't they, um, you know, I was, no. I was actually about to say, didn't they put a die, uh, a lethal weapon game on PlayStation? But that was die. Hard. Ow. Yeah. Was- yeah. There, there were, uh, multiple die hard games over the years. In fact, like, I, I think Sega I made like think, an arcade game. I even think there was a true lies game at one point. Hold on a minute. Excuse me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is the f- that the fucking song from one of the Cheech and Chong I, I think it is. <laughs> Eaters gonna kick you in the head. Oh my god. That's, that's so fucked. That's our Billy. Yep. The only reason it's not racist is because it's Cheech Marin singing it. <laughs> no, that's Tommy Chop. Either way. <laughs> hey, man, it's okay, man. I can sing that all the time. Oh! 
Uh, uh. <laughs> oh ah, piss on my face. That was fall damage, apparently, <laughs> also, by the way, in this fall damage in a platforming game, because that's always fun. Oh, boy. Oy. Oh, my God. Now, imagine doing this on a freaking keyboard on a freaking, uh, you know, European PC. I mean, I could just as very easily do this on a keyboard. God damn it. True. Oh, so that's why they were called PC games. Because they were pieces of crap. Pieces of crap. <laughs> God damn it. Grab the fucking bowl. <laughs> you stupid... <laughs> you stupid... Mel Gibson motherfucker. Go make Passion, Passion of the Cristo and shut up. Oh, motherfucker. Oh my what the God. hell What hit you? What the hell happened? He's dropping wrenches or something. Or hammers. Uh, I don't know. That's he terrible. seems to have an infinite supply of them. Yeah. You know, all these dudes are walking around with harpoons for no reason. Yeah, what's up with that? Yeah, he's dropping wrenches. Word to your moms, I came to drop bombs. And wrenches. And wrenches, yep, that too. And, and that dude's got a bow and arrow. <laughs> who brings a bow and arrow to a gunfight, I ask you? A dead man, that's who. I'm just wondering, like, what the hell's what? going on with this? Oh, what Jesus! Sharks! My favorite. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. That was my Bean, uncle calling. Beaners! <laughs> He he's a big Cheech and Chong fan, so it's that was, no kidding. Ring tone I picked for him. Uh, I've I've got some ridiculous ringtones on my phone too. I I just thought that was the funniest one. So <laughs> I remember, I remember when my ringtone for Jace was "Get Swifty." Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, motherfucker. Uh. Oh my god, a shark! Yeah, we already yeah, pointed it's, this it's out. Like how, uh, <laughs> it's like how my ringtone for uh, uh, my general ringtone is actually just Kiryu Coco. <laughs> of course it is. I've told, this, is. I've told this story quite a few times, but I was doing a, running a rehearsal when there was a... Ri oh, Jesus. What the fuck am yeah, I Yeah, you gotta do? somehow land on top of the crane, I think. I was doing a rehearsal, and it was a really, like, poignant, dramatic scene. And these two kids were just, like... It, it, it was a kid dealing with abuse, and his friend was trying to help him. And they were like, oh, I'm your, you're my best friend. Oh, thank you. And all of a sudden, I just hear, get swifted. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can't land on the crane. I'm, I'm guessing you got to try to land on the hook somehow. The hook? So wow. I had yeah, to, you know, the hook, it brings you back. Be like, I had to pick up the phone and be like, Jace, I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. You swifty. Take a, I'm Mr. Bulldogs. <laughs> now, yeah, it's, it's it, like when my phone goes off and you hear uh, F-U-C-K-M-E, fuck me. <laughs> oh, yeah. When uh, whenever Dane, whenever Dane calls me, the hacksaw Jim Duggan theme song plays. Why is wait a minute? Of all things, why is that my ringtone? I just chose it. It was wrestling, and I thought, eh, hacksaw Jim Duggan. You know what? That's fair. I, I will go with that because I like hacksaw Jim Duggan, and I like you. How about that? Ah shit! When Mike. Well, Mike's ringtone is um, ah, although, shit. probably a different number. Probably a different number now. Yeah, you're not gonna ever but, hear uh, it again, probably, because I don't think you have my new number. No, I don't. Um, my I'll, new number is Bo 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 Bo. But uh, when uh, when when I did have his number, it was the Doom uh, theme. Nice. That's that's and completely Jake, fair. I don't have anything for you. Because I don't have your number, <laughs> J Jace. I, yeah. Jace, I don't have anything for. What are you? His the director of the last movie he was in. 
back. <laughs> I'm, if, if, if I would have to pick, it, it would probably be some Common Rider song. Probably some anime so. thing. Yeah, probably. Uh, some jo- some JoJo weeb trash. Be like, or, or like a v- VTuber like heavy metal yeah. cover or something. If I, yeah. if I was more uh, music, probably. If I was more tech savvy for Jace, I would put Green Man. I don't, I don't really, I don't know what I'm how I'm supposed to grab that hook. This yeah, game sucks either. This is horrible. Yeah, this this game is just just not very good. Look at this little boy. I feel like there needs look, to be look a punishment wheel. Punishment <laughs> wheel of like nothing but like nothing but shit uh, games from Ocean Software. They look like dwarves. All the yeah, uh, they all look very uh, short. Look at him just look. I don't know why. It seems like because it doesn't go get up high enough. I kicked it. That you're supposed to get on top. I kicked the hook. I kicked the thing. Oh, maybe you're supposed to kick the hooks into like clicking each other. I don't fucking know. You know, you can't hook under there. Then you got these Serbian guys with these hooks coming after you. Oh, no, it's a Serbian film. Hey, hey, buddy, buddy, buddy guy, buddy. Hey, buddy, hey, buddy, 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 bro, bro, buddy, 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 bro, 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 <laughs> Mike, Mike was like, no, <laughs> I can remember that. <laughs> oh! 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 oh, you're supposed to grab the rope. That wow! I that was that, and I did that completely by fucking accident. <laughs> Ocean Software, you're a piss. Why? Why would you <laughs> even think that when he had a platform coming at you? That's right, a piss. <laughs> Jeez, you're a buns hole. God damn it! You okay? And so then they got the thing like, yeah, come out, coming for you. All right, so I just got to do it like I did it that time before. It was like I jump straight up and then navigate. I am so glad I never, I never bought this for my SNES back in the day because I was going to. I was gonna because I I like these movies. I'm gonna buy the game. I never did. Yeah, but it's a Ninten- it's a Nintendo game. What would you, what were you expecting, mother? F- all right, mother. All right, mother. Do you think they'll drop the ball? <laughs> mother, do you think they'll try to break my balls? Mama, Why do you listen to Bob and Tom? <laughs> Mama, why you gotta bust balls, man? Why you gotta bust balls, mom? God damn. Uh, 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 are you ready you, to make that you, call? You drop the bomb. How the why fuck you, did I do uh, it before? Watch <laughs> out for the Serbian guys. Crap the lamb. You know, it, I feel like if a different video game company made this game, uh, it would be a lot better. Oh, piss on my face! Oh, Jesus Christ. I bet you if Rockstar were to make this game, it would be better. It would be an open you world. Have, it'd be, it'd be have, GTA with Briggs and Murtaugh. You can have you Joe can Pesci. Instead of... He would it's actually so be allowed. Be great. To, he would actually be allowed to say, "I'm too old for this shit." And Joe they could honestly, like, <laughs> they could honestly get everybody because everybody's still alive for the most part. The do that. voices for the game, and technically, uh, piss. Uh, Joe Pesci has unretired from act. Really? Can we get Marissa Tomei? <laughs> I, I would like that. Yeah, and she could play a nudist. 
It's brilliant. Get, yeah. get a get Marissa Tomei and have her play Woman Who Makes Out with Mike Riley. Yes, I am on board for this. Dane, you are my favorite casting director of all time. I want you to know that. She is old enough to be my mother, but I do not care. <laughs> um. Well, like, listen, Elvira is old enough to be my mother, and and if she came up to me and said, "Hey, Dane, you want to make out?" You best yeah. believe. Uh, yeah. It's... She could still get yeah. it. Yeah. That gilf. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And if and any person. Any person who says, no, I wouldn't do that, you're a fucking liar. You are a uh -huh. yucking liar. You're a yucking liar. A yucking... Oh, definitely. Mother, do you think they'll rock the ball? Mother, do you want to suck a bong? What? I said bong. Mother, are you going to try to touch my hole? I, I dong. Label. <laughs> um, Michael, Michael, please stop talking about my hole. I, I don't know ah, why. goddamn son of a bitch and fucking thing. Dong. Screw this game. I hate that that, that freaking exactly. top part of that hook is a fucking, has a hitbox. I hate. It's ridiculous. A rather large hitbox, by the it way. It would just be easier if that was just a regular platform with no, like, damaging features. Like, you have the option of... Just standing being, on the fucking uh, thing. That would be easiest. Oh, my God. You can't even touch it when you're on the rope because it'll just knock you off. What a... Who fucking... Whose bright idea was that? I guess Ocean Software? Uh, Let's make this game as difficult as possible. Let's make it so you get to climb ropes, Even but if you climb too far down, you touch the thing and it knocks you off. Because that won't be incredibly frustrating to everyone. I don't think but you then, can even hang out on the rope, because if it does, that th the hook just comes back up and hits you in the ass. Because it is a rather large hitbox. Uh, also, you got these Serbians coming after you. Yeah, well... Bunty, I hope you'll bump Whoever programmed this is a rather hey. large shit box. Hey, come here, come here, buddy. Come here, come here. Let me hit you with the. Let me poke you in the ace. Yeah, that's okay, I can hang out there. All right, that's good. Good to know. Uh, just climb all the way up. Just climb all the way up. Nope, nope. Gotta wait mm -hmm. for my opening. Uh, oh, jeez. All right, and you it. very clearly hit the. You very clearly grabbed the rope. I don't. I'm, I don't understand. I'm done with this piece of shit. Dane, thoughts on Lethal Weapon? Um, like I said, if this was done by any other video game company, I think it would be a lot better. But this is just really not good. Pretty and not it, good. It, it's a very. It's a fun concept. It's a great movie, but it's a crappy game. Jason. <laughs> Jason? Jason! He's muted. Oh. He, may, he might have had a cousin. Uh, Billy. I don't like it at all! I I, I don't like the game. I, okay. It's, uh, <laughs> I, I'd rather, i rather have a boner and then smack it in a sliding glass door than to play this game. Ouch. Jesus. You close your boner in a sliding glass door? Why would you do that? It's more the fun human, than this. You break your the penis. Human, yeah, like, you can't actually break your penis doing that. Oh, oh, I know. I'd rather do that than play this game because this is about what it feels like. Yeah, this is uh, classic ocean trash. Um, yeah, platforming at its worst. You, you it, it's the controls are nice and tight, but it doesn't mean anything. When the platforming is so damn difficult, uh, just 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 the, the, the difficulty I had trying to traverse the ropes there should tell you all you need to know about this cra this crappy game. Scores out of ten, Dane. One. Billy. One. I'm giving it a zero. <laughs> damn. I'm only giving it a one because it's lethal weapon. That's that's the only reason. Just because of the name. 
All right, and with that in mind, we're spinning this bad boy again. Yep. Yep. It's finally happened. Dane, pick oh. a game. Oh, shit. We've landed okay, on Dane's on. choice. Let me, let me, let me see here. There's a fighting game on here. Yep. Just let you know. Yeah, there's a couple of decent ones on there. So, so yep. But we have landed um, on Dane's choice. I'm. Ooh. I'm going to go with Fatal Fury. Let's yeah! fucking do it. I'm down. Let's let's absolutely do this. Yeah, you can't ever go wrong with a Fatal Fury game. That's right. I agree. Now there are some crappy uh, uh, fighting games on the SNES, but this is not one of them. The key, you know, of the fighters is a do 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 da do. You know, Street Fighter, Fatal Fury. Um, uh, uh, King of Fighters. Those games, those games right there. Any of the S and K fighting games. The are, King of Fighters tournament are just mm -hmm. phenomenal. The, this game has actually been on the wheel for a while too, so I'm actually glad we're finally getting to it. Even if yeah. it's by the way of a player's choice space. This is this you know, is a good one, folks. If this game was not on this wheel, I would have picked Roadrunner. That one's also been on the wheel for a while. <laughs> yeah. But this 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 this, this game was this game was overshadowed by Street Fighter back in the day. Oh Lord, hold on a minute. <laughs> So, so Billy's well, taking a phone call and Dane's left the room, so I'm by myself. No, 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 no. I'm still here. Oh, okay. I'm still here. All right. Good. Dad's all his baby. It's Joe Higashi versus Duck King. <laughs> you better be ducking. Waiting. Oh, there we go. Oof. Ooh. What in the fruit balls? Jesus, Duck King. Do you have accoutrements on I might, things? yes. Okay. Just so we can get as far as we can in this game. If Why I was, if I was, if, I was, if this, yeah, if it wasn't a retro roulette pick, I probably would have accoutrements off. Then again, it probably you, wouldn't be a backseat gamer you game. You look kind of like uh, you look kind of like Sagat, except you have hair. A better looking Sagat is what you're saying. Before, before he was ripped in half and then stitched back together. <laughs> sure. Which, I mean, I. You're I, I agree. Are you back, Bill? Nope. <sighs> And Jace has disappeared off the face of the earth. <laughs> he died. Not really. I don't think he died. I just think he's in the middle of something. Hopefully he'll come back. I love that the sky changed color there. That's awesome. That's interesting. It is. The shoulder buttons don't do shit in this game, apparently. All right. Right, duck. I wonder why. No more Yankee your wanky. No more spanky your um, Frankie. I don't know why. And this I is on that. the easiest setting, by the way, and he was like trying to beat my ass. He was jumping all over the place like a like a crazy man. All right, Duck King is gone. Goodbye, Duck King. And there ain't no Duck King way. I'm facing you again. Ha ha ha. Mmm, Thai boxing. Looks interesting. You know, I, I was sitting across the table one night from a, a Thai woman, and 
Every time, all, really? the whole time I looked at her, I was thinking to myself, don't get a boner, don't get a boner, don't get a boner. And sure as shit, she did. Hey. Cool, cool. <laughs> Very cool story. <laughs> I, um... I went to the doctor the other day. He told me I really need to stop masturbating. I said, why? He said, because I'm trying to examine you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who left? That, that, that did it for that did it for Billy. Yeah, it did it for Billy. <laughs> anyway, my penis was in the Guinness Book of World Records. Did you know that? I did not know that. Yeah, and then the librarian told me to take it out and leave. <sighs> <laughs> That's all I got, folks. Have a good night. No, I'm just kidding. What? Booty, 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 booty rocket everywhere. Richard Meyer. That's a, the most normal name in any, like, fighting game ever. Hello, my name is Richard Myers. Hello, my name is Duck King. Yeah, Duck King. I mean, that you expect that in a Capcom fighting game. Duck King. Duck, guys, little king, right? Duck King. E Honda. Chun Li. Richard Meyer. Richard yep. Meyer just sounds like a sounds like an accountant. He sounds like he sounds like he should be in a revival of the Shogun miniseries. Yes, the King, starring Richard. Okay, now that Billy's back, now that Billy's back, I, I think. He's back. All right. I don't know what happened. I just I got disconnected. Well, you had a phone call. Right as Dane was trying to leave to go to the bathroom, so he had to stick around so I wasn't by myself. Because, <laughs> uh, like we said, Jace has apparently disappeared off the face of the planet. Yeah, I don't know what... Oh, he's muted, though. I know so. he's muted. He's all on the call. He'll be back, hopefully. Like right now. Ah, oh. Fury. Yes, we landed on Dane's choice. Ah, and this is what he chose. It's what he chose. And uh, it's a good choice. It is. It is a good game. All right, here we go. Ow. 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 Yeah, that, that last game, I give it a two because it made me want to shit my pants. Well, you were way more generous to it than we were. Uh, it's that's the joke. So re really, it's it's not even worth a one. It's like a point five. Yeah, Dane and Billy both gave it a one, and I gave it a zero. Yeah. Michael Max. Mike Max. M M. Obviously, a Mike Tyson analog. As you can tell, I don't want to get too close. It might bite my ear off. Come here. <laughs> Come here. I'm going to eat your children. Come here. You look like Jake Paul. Let me punch your lights out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're taking me too lightly because I'm like in my 50s, but I'll still kill you. And then when then I'll fight your brother and knock, his, knock him in his big old nose. And then we'll fuck your wife. I remember once in an interview when he was interviewed about a boxing match and he said, I'm going to fuck you till you love me. And I'm just like, somebody didn't come here to box. He just got out of prison. You might yeah. want to take that threat uh, seriously. I mean, yeah. But I, I would just I would just be like, I'm here to fight. If you're going to be trying to fuck me, at least take me to dinner first. You know, yeah. it's all masking. I don't know if Jace is back. He is. Yeah. What you also missed, Jace, was me playing straight man to Mike's wiener jokes. Yeah. I yeah. <laughs> Billy and Jace both missed all all three of my my classic jokes. <laughs> I said. Uh, yeah. I, I, I told them. you heard all of them. Uh, one of them was about yeah. the penis in the Guinness Book of World Records, which the librarian told me to take it out and leave. 
Yeah. Then I said, uh, I went to the doctors, and the doctor told me I need to stop masturbating. I asked him why, and he said, because I'm trying to examine you. And then I said I was sitting across the table from a Thai woman, and I looked at her, and I was thinking to myself, don't get a boner, don't get a boner. But sure, sure shit, she did. Ha <laughs> 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 lady boy. <laughs> They will call themselves that too, so that's not really an no, insult. No, it's they not, have no, called. They call themselves I, I have that, seen so. videos of Lady Boys calling themselves Lady Boys. Don't ask me why I watch videos of Lady Boys. <laughs> For now, research. Wait, no, I'm kidding. No, they, now, they Michael, pop up a meme compilation. No, I, and one was one was uh, one was interviewed on the street by some random YouTuber, and that's how I knew that. I'm Michael Max is down here. Is that we? Michael Max. That was that sound, that's how she sounded. Say Michael Max again. <laughs> Can we let Dan do his joke, please? Go I'll ahead. Wait. Go ahead. No, no, I'll wait. I'll wait till this quiet. Okay, go I'll ahead. Wait. No, go ahead. Every time. Go ahead before I have to fight Tung Fu Ru. Michael Max looks like we have Balrog at home. Yeah, that's why we. That's why we started talking about Michael T Mike Tyson. This guy looks like fucking uh, the old dude from. Masteroshi. That's yeah, that's him. I couldn't remember his name. I, you knew exactly what I was going for, though, which I appreciate. <laughs> yeah. yeah or, or as he called him. Oh my and, God! Uh, what the oh. fuck? Holy shit! Excuse Tung me, Tung Fu Ru, well, Tung Fu Yu. The thing is, is that Tung Fu Ru is literally, hey, we ripped off Master Roshi from Dragon Ball back when he uh, did the whole uh, disguised himself. Well, remember to fight though, in the tournament this is Goku. this is ninety two. Most Americans didn't know of Dragon Ball yet. I feel I like there was Dragon Ball. There was a there was a Dragon Ball video episodes. game and on the NES, but it wasn't Dragon Ball. You see, it was it was they reworked it be, for American audiences. And then he made it into a yeah, the airing in the United States. Uh, was a failed run at syndication. Yeah, and I believe oh, it, it was nineteen ninety two. So yeah, we're 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 at the point where Dragon Ball is just starting to become a thing in America, and it's like yeah, it's not widespread yet. It would be for a couple more years if, after this. I can't remember if there was a certain version of Dragon Ball where the whole concept of Master Hiroshi was, oh, he's a dirty old man, or am I thinking of a different anime? No, no he, he I, I, I was gonna say he's, he was pretty much a dirty old man the whole time. Okay. Yeah, he's always been a dirty old I, perv. I have, I have uh, fr yep. other friends that are also into Dragon Ball, so they'll 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 clarify any points I make because I'm not an expert, not by the slightest. But I do know you things. Have two weaves sitting here that watch. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm friends with Travis, and he's he was big into Dragon Ball for a long time. He might still be. So Dragon Ball aired in Hawaii apparently as far back as 1992. Wow. Yeah. I wonder if Joe uh, Joe is Hurricane Uppercut they, Joe. I wouldn't know because I've never been in, able to uh, fucking perform the move yet. They they were uh, they were actually uh, English subbed episodes of uh, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z in Hawaii. Lucky bastards. Hawaii. Um. But uh, yeah, no the the original Dragon Ball flopped horribly, and they immediately pivoted. Uh, and started dubbing Dragon Ball Z shortly after and debuted it the next year. And it did wonderful. Yep. Of course, it wouldn't have done as well if they hadn't changed the music to that rocking, freaking soundtrack by uh, <laughs> Ron Wasserman. <laughs> Wanted the happy part. Oh, Hwajai? That's his name? Dragon. Hwajaina? Hwajaina? <laughs> I'm going to kick you right in the Hwajaina. <laughs> uh, 
That's a real bout shop back there. <laughs> this looks like the yeah. stage you fight T Hawk in and oh my god, did he just drink is he Billy is he Billy <laughs> That one guy that drank the hot sauce and played Pac Man, Billy whatever his last name was, I forget. Uh, Billy, I lie all the time. That's it. Yeah, Mitchell. Billy Mitchell. Yeah, he's Billy Mitchell. He drinks the hot sauce and he becomes powerful. You guys do realize that if he even gets a sniff of this comment, he's going to sue every single person here. He can lick my balls. <laughs> That's not libel. That is something he has the ability to do. He just chooses not to. <laughs> That's not. That's not slander at all. <laughs> he could lick your balls. He just doesn't want to. <laughs> And it's my opinion mm. that he lied. Oh, wait, no. It was proven. <laughs> Herp did her. I love that the stage changes between rounds. Dangerous. That's 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 nice. I like that. It's a little touch. That is a nice... Uh... Stop drinking your hot sauce, you stupid. Hey. I forget if it was the like the arcade version of this game, or if it was King of Fighters that introduced the whole two lane fighting system, where like you could fight in the foreground or background. Uh, I think it was. I think it was this. Yeah, but they cut it from the SNES version because, I mean, like this is a cartridge that has loading times. Yes, even though they are brief. Perfect. Perfect. Pervert. You win. You lose. Oh, Raiden. Yeah, apparently uh, Dragon Ball, they attempted... National syndication in 1995 in the United States, but it didn't do too well. And the next year, Dragon Ball Z dropped instead. Because Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z started in 1989 in Japan. Yep. With Dragon Ball starting in uh, 1986. Uh huh. World's yeah. fattest luchador, Celico Rojo, everybody. Mexico, uh, uh, no, no, it's not a luchador. That's clearly just Raiden. Well, I mean, Raiden was his name, but Vader, rather. And Vader was his name. Oh. His his uh, his character was heavily inspired by uh, Vader's uh, appearance when he wrestled in Japan. I think he was Super Vader there. Yeah, I have a Super Vader. Yeah. Ah, then, then we got the W. Stop sneezing then on us, Vader. Then when he got the WCW, it was Big Van Vader. Then WWE, it was just Vader. This is how COVID yeah. spreads. Because you sneeze all over the place. So, uh, for some bizarre reason, they made him Australian. Good day, mate. I'm riding. Good day, mate. I'm a fat piece of shit. Funny thing is, I actually <laughs> you're the former prime minister. Minister. You're the form form former prime minister of Australia. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> booty, 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 rocking everywhere. I'd say that's fair, Dinkum. Prime Minister. Oi, oh, interestingly minister. enough, interestingly enough, once he takes the mask off, he wrestles under a different name, Big Bear. Mm. And he's, yeah, he has a large Bear, LGBTQ can, community uh, following. Well, as Big Bear, you can blatantly tell he is supposed to be just Big Van Vader. I'm a fat like, piece of I'll, shit. I just I'll made that it. joke, man. Come I, on. I know. I'm going to make it again. You did it in Australia, though. I did it in... 
I did it in a regular accent. I, uh, I, I just shared the uh, picture of what Big Bear looks like compared to Raiden. <sighs> now, Big Bear came yeah. up here to the second game, right? No. Uh, Fatal Fury Special. <laughs> That's Fatal Fury on a short bus. No. <laughs> uh, yep. It's Vader all over. Yeah, I was like, oh, take uh, take Raiden's mask off. Yep, and he is Big Bear. Literally the exact same character. They just gave him the uh, poison mist fire spray thing as a uh, reference to mostly Japanese Ooh, pro wrestling. Uh, yep, Big Bear appeared as uh, uh, Fatal Fury 2 and Fatal Fury Special. So, yeah. After Geese Howard was defeated, Raiden took off the mask and stopped being a heel and became a face as Big Bear. Because Fatal Fury is one of those fighting games that has a big, lengthy cannon. Well, as much as I'd like Where to you want revenge against finish this up and fight this dude... Uh, oh, there is a bonus, but unfortunately... Avenge uh, your father! Kill geese! Honk. <laughs> unfortunately, that won't be happening. Uh, thoughts on Fatal Fury, Dane? It's a very fun game. You know, a lot of people talk about Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. This one, this series ain't, ain't no slouch either. It's really good. I love it. Jason. Yeah, in fact, uh, it is a series that's still going to this day with a brand new one uh, set to be coming out soon, actually. Awesome. Mm. It's, uh, as uh, Fatal Fury is known as uh, like Garo, Mark of the Wolves or something. And uh, I mean, when they weren't making Fatal Fury games, they were making annual King of Fighter games, which played exactly the same and were just technically fatal fury minus the killing geese howard for revenge storyline so i mean yeah this was snk's bread and butter for years and uh i mean uh it's the only thing that's missing from this version is the two lane fighting system because without that this is basically just we have street fighter at home you know, that's the only unfortunate side effect. So uh, the two lane fighting is what makes Fatal Fury Fatal Fury. Okay. Uh, Billy. I like the guy in the hat. Thanks. Uh, this is a great fighting game. Um... Thanks, Ashley. <laughs> his, his name is Terry. I know. Uh, this is a great fighting game, and it's a great precursor to a, an entire series of fighting games that is very good in its own right and uh definitely among the greats uh scores out of 10 dane and jason seven billy Damn. i'm gonna give it a nine and with that let's spin this one last time and see what we're playing for the third game of the episode Damn. Okay. Uh, oh. James Brown. James, James Brown. Brown. James Brown. Power moves, eh? Oh boy! Power, power moves. I don't think I'm familiar with this one. You only get four. Four. That's right. You only get four. Going to give, you only get four. Let's see. Uh, power move. Power athlete. Uh, known outside of Japan for Genesis as deadly moves and power moves on the Super Nintendo. Uh, developed by System Vision, which I can't find anything about. Published by Konico. It is a fighting game. Oh, so we get two fighting games. Oh my! Oh my God, Warren! What? 
Wilford Grimley. I've, I've got diabetes, Hulk Hogan. And then you got Vagnad. Vagnad? <laughs> so it says here, unlike most games of its type, single player mode, you are stuck playing as Joe. Bull. The protagonist of the game. That's just a sound that uh, Caleb uh, makes in blood. Bull. Bull. Gaulon. Rion. Rayon. Baraki. I don't know. Nick. Nick. Uh, one of the one. game's most distinctive aspects is the RPG leg system, which enables the player to boost Joe's various attributes, such as strength, speed, and endurance. Uh, oh, it's got a two-plane fighting area similar to Fatal Fury and King of Fighters. How interesting is it that we're I playing that we ended up playing two fighting games on the same episode? This one's a real. Let alone really a game. fighting game that copied Fatal Fury because you can switch between the two lanes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, Joe is an American Kempo fighter. Uh, uh -huh. the, the game follows Joe's journey to become champion of champions. Uh, Warren, uh, Hawaiian fighter who uses his large size and powerful strikes to compensate for cowardice. Uh, Rayon. Oh, shit. Uh, Thai martial artist born in China. Only female fighter in the game. Mastered the flexible fist method of the northern Chinese fighting um, style. Okay. I hope she doesn't uh, flexibly fist me. I can't find anybody to fist, fist me. me. Hey, Joe. Uh, Vagnet. Hello, Joe. Will you fist uh, me? I fisted Warren. Huge Russian wrestler with onyx skin. Vagnad learned to fight while held in a concentration camp. Guess I'll go with Vagnad first. Uh, next. Good old Vagnad. Uh, he looks like a drowning victim. Just gonna say it. Hello, hello, wow. Hello. wow, he's got a no lot of fucking reason. health, too. A lot more health than I started with. Because is... he's got rock skin. Duh. Uh, we got Nick, the Spanish matador, who prefers to use knives when fighting, and is a member member of the secret organization Junk. 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 Uh, Buo, a Japanese kabuki performer, master of ninjutsu, kung fu, karate, aikido, and kobudo. Ow. Slobodan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I, I, I actually took Kobudo. Jesus Christ, uh, he slaughtered me. Gao Luan, Chinese martial artist. Gao Luan has mastered the hard fist method of northern Chinese fighting style. Uh, try take it on Rayon next. Okay. Like somebody with lower stats. Baraki. I love Rayon. I love fighting tribe. elements. She's cute. Uh, I, you would uh, say he that. He's also a member of secret organization Junk. And then Ranker. American champion of champions. Ranker serves as the game's final boss and is only playable via hidden passwords. Son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. There is no difference in gameplay, content, or characters, despite the name difference. However, it is widely believed that the game's box cover and title were renamed, only to keep up with Nintendo's stringent no-violence policy, as the Genesis version features a close-up of a character being punched in the face with a torrent of blood erupting from the impact. Jesus. The SNES version featured the same image, but with blood recolored to look like sweat. Uh, despite being called no. Deadly Moves, with a blood-splattered cover, there was no blood or death moves of any kind in the game. I know. Um, Christ. And the magazine ads, while detailing the features, did not feature any screenshots from the game, but crudely drawn ones that didn't resemble the game at all. 
Oh, whoa. That's great. Just the fact that you can only play as Joe. My God. Whoa. Like, I it's like, I want to play as the Kabuki guy. You can only do that in two-player mode. Single player mode, you're stuck as Joe the whole time. Ooh, I like the uh, mode seven parallax scrolling in the background. If all Ooh, you can cool. play is beautiful, if all you can play is beautiful, Joe. Hey, should go go, baby? Also, Just this dude one. whipping you with his hair—is he basically that character from the NES game? There what was it like Kabuki Warrior or something? Kabu Kabuki Quantum yeah. Fighter. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's a good game, by the way. Bele. It is a good game. It just gets harder and harder as you go on, but yeah, it's a good game. Yeah, I'd rather play that than this. This really is... It, it's not bad. I mean, now, Kabuki Quantum Fighter was made by Hal. Just not the company, just a guy named Hal. Uh, it was Hal developed Little. by Human Entertainment and published by Hal Laboratory. So actually, it wasn't even developed by them. It was made by Human Entertainment. I'm only human. A flesh the people who made the, I'm made. The people that made the Fire Pro Wrestling games. Yes. Uh, yeah. By the way. I'm a kind of an, uh, I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but I'm kind of an amateur expert of um, Kabuki. Now, the wigs that they wear right there are meant for a certain dance. It's called the Shishi Lion Dance. And what they yep. do is they, they whip the wigs around in a circle. Now, you think they're whipping, they're using their necks. No, they're using their entire body because those wigs, if you were to do that, they would probably break your neck. <laughs> yeah. No, they, they are big, thick, and heavy. And um, in Kabuki Quantum yeah. Fighter, that's what he's whipping everybody with. He's dressed as a shishi lion. Yep. You're a shishi lion. Oh, I guess that's what yeah. makes the fists hard is he throws weapons at you. You know what makes my fist hard? When I see a booty fool woman. Huh. So yeah. apparently the uh, Famicom version of Kabuki Quantum Fighter was actually a tie-in to the Kaizo Hayashi film, Zipang. Really? Yep. Uh, in this version, a 15-year-old boy named Bobby Yano transforms into his samurai ancestor, Jikoku Gokura, Kuro, uh, Jikoku Gokura Kumaru. I don't know what 16 years old are. Well, Jikoku is hell, so... His first name is Hell. <laughs> That's kind of badass. He enters Hell. a supercomputer on a space station to clear it of viruses. Hell References Joe. to the film were re uh, removed from the international release. I I kind of want to see the original film. Me too. It's uh, also known as The Legend of Japan. Japanese tokusatsu fantasy film directed by Kaizo Hayashi. Star oh, starring... Masahiro Takashima. Okay. If it's made by that guy, it's going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Also creative director of the Konami video game Seven Blades. Uh -huh. And director of two episodes of Power Rangers Titan Force. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thoughts on power moves, Dane? Um... It's a step down from Fatal Fury, that's for sure. But it's a it looks like a decent game. I wouldn't say that it's terrible. It 
like I said, compared to the other fighting games like Street Fighter or Fatal Fury or Mortal Kombat, this is this is a big step down, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad game. It's just not as good as the other games we played. Jason. We have Fatal Fury at home. <laughs> Billy. See? It looks like a competent game. It looks like they did. They were trying something different. They just didn't execute it all that well. And some of the backgrounds are very dull. It was like they were digitized uh, pictures. Meaning they took a picture and they tried the, and they digitized it. That temple that was in the background with the Kabuki fighter. Yeah, that was probably an actual picture that they used. And it just looked flat and dull. But, you know... It looks like it was competent. <laughs> yep, uh, it's 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 an okay fighting game. It's not. It's no Fatal Fury. It's definitely no Street Fighter or or Mortal Kombat. That's for damn sure. Uh, but it, it's it's okay. Scores out of ten, Dane. Five. Jason. Four. Billy. Five. I'll give it a five. On this episode of the show, we played Lethal Weapon, Fatal Fury, and Power Moves. Best game of the episode, Dane. Fatal Fury. Since you picked it, I, I would imagine. Uh, Jason. Uh, Fatal Fury by default. Billy. Fatal Fury. Yeah, Fatal Fury. And because Dane's game was picked as the best of the episode, Dane's choice remains on the wheel. For the next episode. Yeah. So, with that Suck in mind, it, that's right. Uh, <laughs> that's a that's a feature you guys didn't know about, but it's never come up until now. So, there you go. There you have it. Uh, big thank you to Dane Forgio and Jason Amherst and Billy Carter. Thanks for joining us. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. Have a good night, and see you on the next episode of Retro Roulette.